I'm Scott Allen Miller. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Today is just a beautiful day and I'm out for a walk and we're going to talk about what's going on with the channel, what's coming up, how you can get involved, how you can ask questions, how you can get things answered that you need, just what you need, whether it's travel in Nicaragua, relocation, or tourism, or wondering about, just there's so many things. We're going to talk about how to get in on all that on today's show. All right, it has been so much content, so much going on recently that I'm a little bit like, I'm trying to get ahead on the show. I don't want to uh, get bogged down because I'm going to be traveling. We'll talk about that, but you guys already know. Uh, but really, the thing that the first thing I got to lead off with is uh, we have not been getting as many questions recently, and I partially know why, but we're going to talk about that too. Uh, but if you have anything you need to know, traveling, Nicaragua, questions about making the show, you know, just whatever. Get down there in those comments, ask questions, whether it's going to be its own episode or it's going to get into one of our Q&As or just if it's really easy, sometimes I just answer it in the chat. But that stuff is really helpful because I need content. I need things to answer. And, uh, you know, sometimes we're starting to go back. We have years of content. I'm starting to go back, look at some older stuff and update it a little bit. So that's good. And that's giving me some stuff. Sorry, I'm, I'm like actually walking. I'm going uphill on slightly rough terrain. I'll show it to you in a second. But uh I'm actually in the fire pit for some reason. And I'm gonna do a microphone test too and try flipping that around so you can see where I'm going. But we never do this. I'm, I'm gonna test a little bit with the microphone. But first things first, you gotta get down there, scroll down, just pause the video if you need to, go down and ask a question in, in this or other videos uh, that it really does help. I know that it seems like, is that really important? You have no idea. It's so much what drives. I just don't know what people need to know. I don't know what people are wondering about. I don't know what struggles you're having for the most part. And that's that's really, really helpful. So, so truly scroll down, ask a question, say hi, leave comments, uh, uh, whatever. That, that would be great. All right, let's flip this camera around and try walking up this hill. All right, I'm actually, believe it or not, with all my GoPros and all the time that I use them, I've never actually put on the rear-facing microphone before. I always use the front-facing one, and I kind of forgot that it's both directions. So uh, let's see if, uh, the, you know, this could be a way that I could avoid needing a lavalier a lot of the time. But I walk this area quite a bit, and I never bring you up where you can see it. It's always me just kind of walking along. This is near Los Altos de Veracruz, but on the kind of farm road that's next to it. And uh, you're tired of looking at me all the time, so this is a change of pace. And it's a beautiful day. The sun was a little bit warm there just for a minute, but right now it is it is really nice. And look at this beautiful, I don't know if it's a farm or like Quinta or something like that over here. I can never figure out what exactly it is. And this is actually the wall of the side of Veracruz, but this little bit of it is kind of in rough repair and falling down just a little bit or overgrown, I guess. This little area is such a beautiful country lane feel, but this is a whole whole apartment reparto thing going on right there. So we're, we're right on the edge of civilization. And then there's construction debris for some, but they need it. The road is kind of washed out. I guess they're using that to fill in the road. I don't really know. All right. So we talked about going down and asking questions. That would be fantastic. I really am looking for a lot more things to answer because that makes my life so much easier. Uh, but also, um, and I need to do some Q&A uh, uh, videos coming up just because of the, the travel that I'm going to be doing. I have to get ahead and have some things queued up. So those, those really do help because I can get them done early. Uh, so the other thing is, it would be so awesome, and no one has done this yet, but I only just got the information, so I'd really love it. This is, <laughs> I'm going to get distracted as we walked. This is that big lot that I said recently got cleared. I don't know if it's still available or if someone got it and is preparing to build here, but what a perfect spot with direct access onto the beautiful farm road. If you had windows along here, you'd get all kinds of breeze because you can see Nothing really holding back the wind, so it'd be really fresh if you had a second floor, plus you had, so you'd have road access on three sides. Like how handy would that be? It's like having your own access alley. You could come and go on any of the roads and not ha even have to pass through your own property if you didn't want to. Nice spot, very nice spot. And a little bit of sun out now. 
So for those of you who, who can or want to, it would be fantastic because I want to get some of you guys on the show. And I talked to Jeff uh, from Getting Lost, and he is thinking of maybe trying to find a way to get out to Leon to get on the show with me here. That would be really cool. He's a newer YouTuber uh, who is currently motorcycling through Nicaragua. He's out east of Hinotega at the moment, getting a little bit of relaxation out there, but uh, he doesn't have any strong plans and we may be able to overlap before I leave the country. So we're trying to do that. And that like that kind of stuff, super cool. Eric from Generic Expats, uh, <laughs> he and I did a collab. Uh, his hasn't gone live yet, but he says it will fairly soon. It's so long, the content that he does with me, that everyone does with me, really long content. So it's very hard to edit for, for a lot of people. So he's got to do that yet. And uh, that's just going to take time because it was like an hour and a half recording with multiple cameras. So he's got all kinds of stuff to edit down. So uh, what you can do, and we talked about this on a couple episodes, but this will be so fantastic. And we're now we have a full process for it is, oh, that's a pretty good. I'm sure you can't see it on the GoPro. That is a good sized lizard that just ran all the way across there. And we can see it going up that tree in the middle. I just went around the backside. Sometimes we get the bigger lizards. I don't think that was an iguana, though, but it was a good sized one. So if you take a video of yourself, this is going to be with your phone. If you have a GoPro, that's fantastic. Works so well. Uh, and, you know, try to get a quiet place, get some good light on your face that kind of thing and uh, uh, if you're using a phone don't use the camera that you see when you're looking at the phone screen flip it around and use the big camera that faces away from the phone screen and I know you can't see yourself when you're doing it but it will look so much better trust me set your cameras to 4k set them to 30p 30 frames per second and uh, I'm gonna show this is a little little side road that goes down between the fields. I, I think this is private. I don't think that's a public road. Not not 100% sure on that one. But there is a public road right up here. And uh, that one, I don't know. I would feel weird going down that one. Anyway, point that good camera towards you. 4K 30p. Get some light on your face and record your questions, your comments, your interaction. Like, let's get some people on and then you can use wetransfer.com. Send that to me. I've got a post on that says where to send it, but it's info at relocatenicaragua.com. And if, as long as it's uh, two gigs or under, and if you're making over two gigs, that's a really long video for me to clip in. So try to keep it under two gigs, if at all possible, uh, and send that to me. And it'd be great to get you guys on the show and have like this completely different interaction where, where we get to actually see the audience and, uh, and get you on the show. So. So definitely, I need some people to go and do that. That'd be cool. So the reason that I think we're getting fewer questions now on the main show is that we're trying, uh, mostly on Thursday nights, so coming up by the time you're seeing this, should be tomorrow, and hopefully we're able to do it tomorrow, is we're doing live shows. And the live shows are not trivial. They've been, this is a house with a huge yard on the side. We've shown it before, but it's been a while. And then this cute yellow one over here. And, uh, whoo, these big rocks, I don't know if you can see them. They get really slippery because you step on them and they roll. And, uh, now before I, before I keep talking, I'm going to show this intersection. I love this area. It's beautiful. So this is actually a road. Now, obviously cars don't go down here, but, but, but carts do. Uh, bicycles do, people on foot do, and that leads off when we do the walk south of the airport to the community south of the Leon Airport in, in southern Sutiava. This is the road that leads there. And then this road forward leads through some, we're going to go up there, through some farms and onto a quarry. And then this way, this is the main road to, or is the main road of Carlos Canales. Now, as you go forward, it's just farms for a little ways, but you eventually come into Carlos Canales, and this is its main road through the middle. But again, no cars going down there. Cars can come through here. This is the, the widest that it, you'll see trucks come up this. And trucks could go down there, just like that farm right there, but no farther. And they can go up here, but not too far. But we'll keep, we'll keep walking. 
So we're doing these live shows and they're, they've been over three hours. The last one was well over four hours and we have great interaction the whole time. We have a lot of people on, people are continuously asking questions. Uh, we're having good discussion between people. It's a lot of fun. It's really cool, but it's also using up a lot of opportunity for people to be asking questions that would then become episodes. And if it's, you know, a big question that we can talk about it, but then I can make it into an episode later. Yeah, of course, going to do that. But for the most part, it's, it's kind of cannibalizing our market for for getting questions, I think. Because it's, I mean, four hours a week, that's way more answering of questions than we would do in a normal week. So that's uh, that's changing things a bit. So I kind of I kind of need to ask you guys to step it up on the asking of questions to kind of try to make up for that a little bit so that the live shows are not cutting into things. I love this walk up here, it's so beautiful. And this is, I, I'm sure, if you're looking at this, if you've never been here, the chances that you think of this kind of walk as being Nicaragua is so unlikely. Even with all the time that I've lived here, when I come up into places like this, it's like, this is, this is what Nicaragua looks like, really? But it's so nice, and there's so many little roads like this. And if you watch Jeff's show, which I did, I've been watching it a bit because he just got to Nicaragua. So I was watching some of his stuff in Honduras and then coming into Nicaragua, I'm always trying to follow people in Nicaragua. And it's like, this is, this is kind of what it looks like all over the country. These, these quiet little roads out behind everything, little houses, lots of trees, and then suddenly lots of barbed wire, always barbed wire. And then you pop out and there's a view of something and it's just beautiful and quiet. And we so we think of Nicaragua as either loud pumping music or wide open quiet areas. That's about it. Those are the two extremes. That's all you get. And this is just this is just such a great walk up here. See, it's a bit uphill, which you can't really see on the camera. So that's uh, winding me just just the slightest bit. But good good to get out and exercise. And nice to just take you guys on a walk. We don't. Uh, we haven't been able to do enough, enough walks recently. And this is a cute little spot up here. Just a cute little house, big open yard. Everyone keeps them cut really low. Keeps things from living close to the house. Buenas tardes. Well, this is such a nice spot up here. They get beautiful breeze really doesn't get that hot i mean it's warm you know it's still nicaragua and as you can tell i just stepped out into the light so i'm warm now but it really is a pleasant day quite quite nice now this time of year no matter what middle of the afternoon we're gonna get wind about 2 30 to 3 o'clock it just picks up right now it's still so this is this is nice and quiet but in about an hour, hour and a half, all of these trees will be rocking back and forth, all kinds of wind. Now this side is pretty much, there's nothing to show too much over there. Just, just trees. But this side, I have these nice little, I don't know what it is, barbed wire. Uh, it's not a field. I guess it's a pasture, but I think it's kind of just a yard. And now we got this little opening. And this is just wild land. I've never actually walked down this little path, but obviously some people step off here. There's a little trail that goes here. I'm sure it doesn't go very far. Who knows? Who knows? But we get some open land and there's a hilly ridge out there. And I've said this before. I really want to, I'm not going to keep going. I don't know where this goes. Uh, I really want to get out there and walk on top of that ridge. The maps show nothing, absolutely nothing out there. So I'm super curious as to what, what it's actually like. Can I get up on the mountain? Can I make it anywhere? Do I get stuck? That might be bad. Uh, <laughs> I mean, those are clearly not difficult to hike mountains, but why is there nothing on them? They're very pretty. It's a very nice spot. What keeps, uh, keeps people from building up there? Is it just 
super impractical. There's too much other land available. Just no one cares. I don't know. But, and it's, but they're not, you know, I'm pretty sure from the top of them, you can see the ocean. Like I'm really sure you can. So what a great potential spot. There's gotta be a lot of open air. It's gotta be nice and fresh up there. Quite comfortable to live. It's, you'll be able to see Leon in one direction. Be able to see the whole valley, all kinds of stuff. Be able to see the ocean. Now this is the quarry and this is where I did a bit of filming so I came upon the quarry, and of course it is private and marked off, which it became marked off after I put it on the show. So I'm very suspicious that people saw it on the show where we're like, we need to mark this because now everyone knows about it. But it's on Google Maps. Like I've talked about this before. It's on Google Maps as a public spot to go. I have no idea. But as I went to say that, and my camera overheated, so I got some shots, beautiful shots, with the iPhone because uh, that's that's not quite as hot and and while i was waiting for the camera to cool down i found this actually really nice spot to be able to stand and record this is a pretty cool little just tiny itty bitty meadow place but like i was saying this gives me a lot of memories of being in upstate new york and in the summers when it was hot like this we would go to county parks and stuff and walk through uh public lands that gave me a lot of the same feelings as this so these areas are, are nice for me they really give me a feeling of home in a lot of ways if you were to tell me that this was the genesee county uh park and that this is just a part of it that doesn't have very many people i'd be like oh yeah i could totally see that the the mountain ridges are not that different than the rolling hills back in western new york the trees in this area are very similar the shrub is very similar and the heat of the summer is actually quite similar so it's it's actually being up here in the quiet when you don't hear the sounds of Nicaragua, which are a bit different than the sounds of New York, you do connect with that. So anyway, on today's show, I really wanted to kind of just connect with you guys. I haven't done kind of a rambling, just talk about things as we go in quite some time, and I haven't had a chance to get out and do farther afield filming. Our car is in the shop for a, for a couple days, so I haven't been able to take that anywhere, and uh, we are getting ready to head to uh, the United States and Mexico. I'm going to Disney World. I'm going to New York. I'm going to Mazatlan. I'm going to Cancun. I'm going to Isla Mujeres. Uh, all of that is going to be keeping me very busy. I will be doing absolutely everything I can to be filming during that time, but I have to uh, get ahead on the show. Like I was saying, I need to have not just my full week's buffer as we go into that 20 days of travel, because I know I'm going to be crazy busy. Um, and I don't even know at this point what I'm going to have for a camera. My new 3D camera shipped last night after a week. I ordered it on, on the actual 13th. Uh, and I'm, you, it shipped on like the 21st, depending on when you see this. Yeah, it gets crazy. Uh, but it finally shipped, but it doesn't have any tracking information yet. So I have no idea if even the 3D camera, which is not very good for the show, uh, is going to have made it to New York by the time I get there. Uh, I really don't know what I'm going to do. So trying to figure that out, there's just a lot of a lot of moving pieces to the trip yet, and I can't have anything left up to chance or we'll miss an episode. And we have not missed an episode in a really long time. So it's it's, it's becoming something I'm very passionate about not missing. And it, you know, once I start missing it, it's gonna be like, well, I've missed one before, I can miss one again, but no, like this is cool. I love that we have this daily audience and people who, who are connected and are like, this is a thing I wait for. Um, and then I don't want to not have that, right? I know that no one's going to be like so heartbroken because of it, but I don't know. There's just a connection that I feel is so special there. I don't want that to, to not be a thing that we do every day, right? And, you know, it's nice when we can put out extra things or whatever. Um, and if you're wondering, this that I'm doing right now, if you look at my shorts from the last, you know, 18 hours or so, I did a, a quick short of me by the quarry just talking about being out that is just minutes ago that i did that and i posted it immediately while i was waiting for the camera to cool down so if you ever want to piece those together sometimes you can i do have some shorts that'll come out after that that were made a couple days before sometimes i actually record the shorts and get behind like it's amazing but i've been so busy even at night and i try to spend time with my kids at night so my routine is kind of i get up in the morning i have meetings for a few hours then i work at my desk for a bit in the middle of the day and i try to get uh, some uploads done. I try to get uh, some projects done. I try to get work work done. Uh, and then in the evenings, it's like last evening, we went to Dr. Coffee because it's one of my, my kids' favorite things to do. They had friends over and played video games all day, so they didn't need me for video games. Uh, but then when their friends went home, we went out to Dr. Coffee and hung out for a while. And that's when Dr. Coffee made me, this is so amazing. They made me a cappuccino with my channel logo 
on it in in you know barista art like how cool is that i got photos i'll try to pop one up here it's so neat they just surprised me with that while we were there we were the last ones in we're often their last customers at night but we're there all the time so we're like super ultra regular uh they know us very very well but uh we did that and then we went home and i did a little bit more work the kids and i hung out a little bit normally we play video games at night we did play uh, a little bit, uh, we've been playing Hard Rain, which is the older of Quantic Dream. We've played uh, Detroit Beyond, uh, Become Human, which is fantastic. We've been playing Beyond Two Souls, which is quite good. That's the one that uh, Stranger Things is basically a copy of. So Quantic Dream has these newer games that are really fantastic. This older one, it's not old, old, like it still looks like very modern. We're not super thrilled with it so far. We're, we're a ways in and we're, we're having a hard time finding a protagonist. We don't like the characters. We're not too into the story. Uh, they made the intro so contrived and stupid and you hate the characters that there's a there's a death at the beginning and you're like, good for them. Like that person was stupid. They didn't they didn't deserve to be on the show. So it loses you a little bit from your passion in the show. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But we're, we're, it's early. We'll, we'll probably get a lot more into it. It's supposed to be a really amazing game. So we're, we're working on that. But we often play video games together. And then at midnight, every day, at exactly midnight, Luchana says, okay, it's midnight. And, and at 15 minutes before she goes, did we do our Duolingo? And we make sure we do our Duolingo and don't miss anything. I try to do it throughout the day, but she does a, a last minute check to make sure we don't miss anything. Her streak is coming up on 500 days, right? She's really getting long. Uh, and um, then we do uh connections from the uh new york times i believe it is and it's an online puzzle and you have to take a bunch of different categories and find which things match each other it's actually quite hard so we do that every day together lisa and luciana and i and then we do our wordle every day together uh and we had a 19 day streak on both and then we lost it on one um but we're, we have streaks going on both and, and it's it, we really like doing that and it gives us like a marker this is midnight this is our thing and then often Sometime after midnight, we actually bake or cook dinner or something. We make like a super late, late night snack. And then I work until like 2, 2.30 in the morning every night and then get up somewhere between 6.30 and 7.30 every morning. That is what my day is like. Uh, so I get I get very exhausted uh, sometimes. And uh, it just kind of explains why the videos are the way that they are. My current project that I was working on last night and today, and I'm really enjoying this, is I'm working on a Jellyfin server for our house. Living in Nicaragua, this is something that I would recommend people consider. Uh, it's early for us. I've never done The current project that I'm working on is Jellyfin. This is kind of like Plex. It's an open source media server that we're able to put in our house and rip DVDs, download movies, whatever, have media that we have, create YouTube videos, take stuff from the cameras, pop them onto the media and, and media server, and then have access to it in the house without having to move files around or have a USB stick or do some complicated thing. And it's something I have played with in the past, things that are like this. Well, I don't like this light, we're gonna move. That's a wee bit better. And I've played with this kind of stuff before and I've got a friend who runs a Plex server that we use, uh, but it allows us to basically create our own, you know, Netflix streaming service inside the house. So every phone in the house, every iPad, every television is able to stream movies and, and TV shows that we that we have on the server to anywhere in the house and even if the internet's out it works just fine so that's a really it's it's a fun project right now i'm just streaming a handful of things off of my laptop but i wanted to see how it works i've been working on that the last couple days and so far it's working really well it's incredibly easy to install it's very powerful easy to set up uh, and i've been very impressed with how uh, how well it works instantly every tv in the house is just like oh we can just install this on the android tv put this on this stream it to there with with uh automatic stuff do it on my phone everything just worked out so it's been it's been just a fun project that i've been doing but it's the kind of thing that when i was in the united states i wouldn't have really bothered with this with this type of thing we did have a media server in the house when we lived in texas and once in a while we would use it because we would store all of our dvds on there so it was something that i i did play with but we didn't use it that much because it was just it was just cumbersome and it was kind of slow but now we've got you know faster drives and and i don't watch that much stuff in the house but Dominica and the kids do quite a bit, uh, and it gives a bit of flexibility. Uh, and, and here, dealing with anything you have to store and move around, media and boxes of things, huge problem compared to the U.S. We're so used to in the U.S. having so much storage uh, in the house and outside of the house. Uh, and here, while you could, yes, it's very affordable, much more affordable than in the U.S. to go get storage. It's not something that houses are really built with. It's people don't think about it. It's the lifestyle here encourages uh, far less accumulation of storage and so it's not something that we actually see that much so it's a very different thing uh and and we try to stay very very light 
uh, in everything here. So this is kind of playing into that and we're trying to see if it, it fits into our overall use of, of how we use TVs, how we watch things. Um, and, and so far with early experiments, uh, it seems like a fun thing. Not to go into the details of that, it's just I'm working with Jellyfin. It's completely free. It's been very fun and a cool project over the last couple of days and just something that I'm I'm trying out. So that is what I have going on. We're heading up to Mexico in just over a week. I'm going to be between the U.S. and Mexico uh, for about 20 days. Going to be going to Disney World, Universal Studios, hanging out with my dad in New York. Uh, my 3D camera was just just picked up uh, so he has it in his hands uh, so so no problem getting that there and I just ordered a new lens for my uh, Nikon DSLRs uh, just because I need a couple I, I like using my DSLRs for concert photography which happens at night and I need really fast lenses that are a little bit longer than the ones I have to be able to do that so that's something that is uh, should be arriving next week and uh, then, then after seeing my dad we're heading to Mexico for the wedding we'll be in Mazatlan, Cancun, Isla Mujeres back to rochester new york back to florida and back to nicaragua it's going to be quite a week so that's what we have going on here i'm glad you all joined me today if you like help support the channel you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash scott al miller as always like subscribe tell your friends watch another episode after this is done and i will see all of you tomorrow and just to make things easy we're going to pop up four videos here on the screen just choose one Go ahead and click on that. If you don't want to watch it, just let it run in the background. And that lets YouTube know you love the show. Thanks.